Welcome to the very first episode of the Motivate This series. This rant is going to be primarily to get stress off my chest and leave some tips for my daughter once I'm gone. These tips are not going to be politically correct and a lot of people are not going to agree to get all mad at me and I don't care. These tips again are primarily for my daughter. Lesson one, guard your time. Meaning, don't be wasting hours and hours of your precious time doing stupid things like watching sports, playing video games, or drinking, or checking social media. See, I told you, these were going to be a little controversial. Now, let's talk about each one of these things individually. Watching sports. Cartoon wife, she's a big fan of the Green Bay Packers. Each game is four hours, and she watches all 16 of them. That's how many hours she wastes? Does it really matter if her team makes it to the Super Bowl or even wins the Super Bowl for that matter? Is that going to put a dime in her pocket? No, it's not. It's a big-ass waste of time. Oh, my team is on tonight. I can't do anything. I got to watch. And baseball's even worse. How long are those freaking games? Now, unless you have a bookie and you're actually going to make some money out of watching sports, I think it's a waste of time. Now let's talk about video games. Do you really need to spend 12 plus hours a week playing Fortnite or Call of Duty? Now, full disclosure, back when I was younger, I used to play video games too. And I also was the same guy that rated a thousand movies on Netflix. Times have changed, I've grown up, and I've matured. I have a better use for my free time. Drinking. Do I even need to get into this? It's destructive. There's no point to it whatsoever. Kind of like smoking. You ever ask a smoker, why do you smoke? And they cannot give you a good valid reason. Not a single one. Because it's stupid. You get impaired, you could get into a car accident and ruin your life. Why are you going to drink? It makes zero sense. Last one. Social media. I know. This is YouTube, but this is not exactly social media. Social media, I'm talking about specifically Instagram and Facebook and stupid apps like that, that you've become a member of the zombie apocalypse, okay? Cartoon Wife is definitely a member. Let me show you what it's like to be a member of the zombie apocalypse. For hours! Hours! Well, why? Why? All those likes on Facebook, arguing with people about their political views. It's a complete and total waste of time. Then you have those people that go on Facebook to make themselves look happy. You know the people I'm talking about. I love my husband so much. And they're the same jamooks a year later to get divorced. If somebody wants to get a hold of me, they can text me directly. I don't need to go on Facebook, all right? Now, others are going to try to steal your time. Let me tell you a little story. Today, today, one of my brother-in-laws, he drives crappy cars. He thinks he's a god of mechanics, and he's not. And he, he constantly buys crappy cars. And then they break down, and he eventually has to get rid of them and buy new cars, right? He refuses to do what I told him and get a freaking Toyota. I'm not sponsored by Toyota. I used to drive a lot of freaking different cars, especially Ford, and now... I don't waste my money on Ford, all right? This is not sponsored by Ford or Toyota, obviously. You want, spend a little extra, get a freaking reliable car. My Toyotas last over 100,000 miles. His car broke down, and now he wants someone to, to pick up his kids to bring them over here for the weekend. I'm happy to drive them the same day to and from, but then he's like, oh, can they sleep over too? You give an inch, they take a mile, and, and people have zero consideration for your time. Now, am I saying devote zero time to hobbies or self-care? No, that is not what I am saying. I'm saying not to waste all your valuable time doing stupid shit. Be guarded with your time. Years ago, I had a manager that told me he would jog every morning, rain or shine, even in the snow. And I looked at him weird and he said, Sam, this is the selfish thing I do for myself each and every single day as I go for a jog. I respect that. Now this YouTube thing is a complete hobby for me. 
Cartoon Wife years ago told me I needed a hobby because she would be watching her movies and I would be asking questions and annoying her. And she's like, you really need a hobby. So I started doing YouTube. Now YouTube's gotten a little boring for me. So then I started to grill. That's my new hobby. Hobbies are healthy, but if you want to achieve anything, a particular goal, it's going to take an investment of time. And the BS activities I mentioned earlier are going to eat into your valuable time. I remember having lunch with a friend of mine back in Jersey years ago. And when we hit 60 minutes, cause we had said one hour, alarm went off on his phone. He said, Sam, it's been great catching up with you. And he got up and he left. And I was a little confused. I was like, he just got up and left. I respect that. He respects his own time. So that's all I'm saying with this rant. Respect your time or else other people are gonna take advantage of you. And then you're not going to have time to do things that are important to you. So you may be saying, all right, Sam, I don't, I'm not going to waste time watching sports or watching movies or doing this, doing that. I'm going to have all this free time. What should I do with it? Well, how about you clean your car out? How about you clean your room or your house? You big jamuk, you know, it does. How about you keep your books up to date? Make sure you're up to date on all your bills. I don't know. There's tons of stuff you could be doing that is going to be helpful to you in the future. So guys, that's my rant. The first installment of Motivate This. All right. So I hope you guys liked it. Like, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. Till next time.